Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capy, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel everyone. Thanks for being here with me, Earth Signs. This is going to be a reading to see who is thinking about you, who can't stop fantasizing about you. We'll suss it out and we'll see what we can learn about this person using these couple of tarot decks. Before I jump into it, just want to say thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, don't forget to sign up for membership if you want access to extended readings for the channel that come out each month. Um, if you are up to a private reading, please feel free to email me. We can go ahead and arrange that. I'm so buzzed. I've had like two coffees today and for me that's a lot. Um, <laughs> but let's see what comes up in the reading for your earth signs okay we're going to kick it off with this deck here and see what comes up all right let's suss this out okay who is thinking about you strong libra coming through here eight of swords reversed five of pentacles Okay, this is someone who's really struggling. I'm sensing a struggle, a fight. All right, this is someone that you might have dumped or you might have parted ways with. Someone you've broken their heart or they've broken yours. They're not doing too well. So I'm getting this is someone who's thinking about you, but it's kind of in a sad, struggling way. Um, okay, I feel like it's someone you've cut ties with with the justice card or you gave them the flick. You were like, no, I don't want to have this connection anymore. So you potentially pushed this person away, Earth Signs. Um, you did it because there was something that they did that wasn't healthy for you. I reckon they had a bit of a deal-breaking situation here and it put you off. It did. That's what I think is coming up in the reading. So it, it put you off. Uh, it was a bit of a deal-breaker. You felt neglected, so you pushed this person away. And now it's like they can't stop obsessing. And I get that they're obsessing about their mistakes, especially when it comes to communication. Look at all these cards that contain swords. All right, this person is conflicted and they're trying to think about where they went wrong with you. So I'm getting like a regret, okay? It's someone that's regretting doing something or not doing something here with you. Okay, um... So it can be someone that you've cut ties with with the Justice card. It can be someone you believe is like a karmic connection in your life, right? So you think you had something karmic, um, but you're not sure. But the way things ended, it's sort of like it's it's um, leaning towards that way. So, um, so yeah, okay. So we've got that Eight of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords is reversed here as well. I don't think it's someone new. I think it's someone you know of, okay? They're in your circle, in your friend circle, in your social media circle, they're orbiting around you in some way here. Um, so we've got that, this orbit. Okay, Ace of Swords reverse. It's not new. Um, or it's not a new presence in your life. It feels familiar. So it could be someone you, I feel like you were once connected to this person actually. Queen of Swords, you either haven't heard from this person and then you're going to be like bombarded by their communication or you have heard from them and then they've gone silent it's like a drastic drop or a drastic change it's like completely opposite with this person in terms of communication so it's someone who has either like really been in touch and then like fell off the face of the earth and you're like what the hell happened to them um you know what you might even think about them you might even think about them and then next thing you know, next minute you've got a message on your phone and it's their number. Um, or yeah, like I said, it could be reversed where it's like they've just come out of the woodworks, you know, they've recently ended a relationship, they've come back, they want to explore things. That's the kind of energy I'm picking up with this person here. Uh, but I get like things have changed for them or for you, for the both of you. So it's someone where they feel like things have changed. They might even say that to you. So they're thinking you've changed. Your life has changed drastically. There's been some sort of change here. Um, okay, Justice card has come up twice. What's going on here? So strong Libra and energy. We've got the world. Uh, Empress and Aries. We've got Gemini with the lovers. This could very much be a soulmate or a twin flame that's coming up around you here. Someone older. Someone very, very stubborn. Uh, Earth signs. 
It could be someone you're in a relationship with or someone that feels like you are destined to be their person, their partner. I really feel like you guys have a chaotic history together, though, with the, with the tower or it's been really intense, especially if this is like a strong physical connection and you guys are just like crazy about each other. That's what I'm picking up. Um, I do feel like it's an older person. It's someone that does want to look out for you, but they're so stubborn. They've prevented something from happening. Either way, I feel like... um. They're thinking about you, but they're stubborn. I don't know if they're waiting for you to reach out to them. Okay, they're super, super stubborn. This person cannot swallow their pride and reach out first because it'll make them seem weak. They're so like kind of old school in that way, right? They're like this old school thinker, like I can't show emotion. I can't do this. This is going to be mistaken for being weak or being submissive or whatever. You know, they have this whole preconceived notion here and it's affecting this ability. Either way... um. I feel like with the world card, the world is like possibilities, right? So they're thinking about the possibilities, which makes me think they're thinking about what's going on with you, where you're at, where you're working. Are you still friends with that person? Are you still taken? Are you still single? They're fantasizing a lot about you. I really feel like it's someone that you are connected to on social media or somehow they have access to your life in pictures or like online. So it's like they have access to see what's going on in your life, um, earth signs. It could be someone you know from online, like um, through a dating app, an online connection. Maybe you started speaking online on a forum, on a chat room. But this, this feels like some sort of online presence to this person. Now, they could be foreign, or it could even be someone you had a long-distance connection with. I'm getting a strong long-distance vibe. I do feel like communication is coming though with the lover's card and I feel like eventually their thought they're going to swallow their pride and eventually they're going to want to reconnect and see you in the physical. For some it's like a Skype or a video call, FaceTime call. For others if you're lucky enough to be um, able to see this person uh, in the flesh then it's very likely that that could happen here as well. So I mean that's exciting. But I feel like it's someone who is full of surprises, okay? It's someone who's always kept you on your toes, earth signs. It's sort of, sort of like, this is an unpredictable character. Like, sometimes they're super stubborn and then other times they're not. And it's just like, it's the one that was always like, you always got taken aback by them. You always felt shocked or like, unsure or like, wow, they're doing this. Like, it's someone who constantly surprised you in a bad way, in a good way. It's like, this person's full of surprises here, but they... Um, like I said, I feel like there's a sad, soppy kind of energy to them. Like they're being a bit of a sook. Um, and that's an Australian term, by the way. And if you don't know what that means, it means like they're like being a little baby, right? They're being a baby about it. They're moping around. They're unhappy, you know. So I don't know what happened here, but it's obviously affected them. So if you're still wondering if they still care, believe me, they do. Um, but I'll leave it there, Earth Signs. I do hope this has been helpful. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, sign up to membership, and we'll be in touch soon. Much love and ciao for now.